if architecture is done well, it is art. If architecture is not done well, then it's a building. Bing was a fighter. He fought really hard for what he wanted and really hard for his concepts. He fought really hard to sell his dreams. And that's important because, you know, a lot of people may have good ideas, but if you're not willing to fight for them, then they don't matter because they're not going to happen. Bing came up with this drawing of a butterfly and he came up with this concept of calling the building the butterfly. Beauty in the butterfly and beauty in nature and beauty in the organic nature of that and beauty as a homage to Bing and as literally the shape of the building, it all seemed to kind of work and so it seemed like, okay, I could take a risk and call the building the butterfly and we'll see how people respond. We set kind of a goal at the beginning and everyone understand the vision, what we want to achieve. But we were more focusing not on the form and function in the beginning. In the beginning, we were focusing more on the feelings and the experience. It wasn't that a design came like this overnight. We worked on about nine or ten different designs before we landed exactly where we wanted to be. The butterfly is it's transforming high density living, reconnecting people uh, back with nature and allowing people to live in high density communities much like they would um, on a ground plane. One of the concepts that we've been working on is this idea of building vertical homes as opposed to apartments. We thought about how we can create building to touch people's hearts in the way that they're more close to the nature. We're surrounded this in this incredibly beautiful environment, but so much of our architecture has nothing to do with this environment. This building is entirely about its setting in this city um, on that site. And I think that's what makes it special. The pure complexity of the greater context of the project, with the church being a side of it, the galleria that bridges it, the, the new tower and the organic shape of the tower. How do we combine this and make it feel cohesive? So even though you have different uses, there's a sort of a commonality um, that, that binds everything together. The architecture has the same attitude. They have the same expression on how, how it relates to the city, creating this urban dialogue between um, the new and the old. Restrictions force us to be creative. The creativity comes to the forefront when it is there to solve problems. Through the process, always come, you know, these forces come at you. I can compromise all these things, but these are the ones that we have to keep. Otherwise, project itself it loses the uh, vision and uh, the heart, soul of the project. The effort to create this beautiful building is incredible and it's, it's not easy. I think that's one of the things that people don't really realize is that a project of this kind of complexity is six years of design work before you even get close to being able to build it. You have to engage with the community. You have to engage with different viewpoints. If you want to create beauty, it takes time. Is it beautiful or is it ordinary? Because the world has enough ordinary. And I think everybody in this office feels that same way. Hope is beauty. Sacrifice is beauty. Passion is beauty. And you need all of these elements to transform your city into something beautiful. I hope that it makes you feel better about humanity the minute you, you lay your eyes on it. I think that it has that instant appeal to it. While it is an amazing addition to the skyline of, of, of Vancouver, I think it'll be probably one of the most beautiful buildings in the city and it'll be hard to keep up with. I can almost envision the building moving, and almost just lifting itself up into the sky like a butterfly. I would feel really a huge accomplishment. I would feel, you know, oh geez, we uh, succeeded Bing's legacy. The fight for beauty is, is a tribute to what Bing, uh, in a relatively short period of time brought to my life and the idea that if it's if it's worth doing then it's worth fighting for.